Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of someone who is showing up as confident and self-assured. This is someone who's very attractive and is, um, you know, very well aware of it. You know, there's a very charming energy about this person. They are showing up in their masculine. Um, this is someone who's uh, confident and not afraid to take action when they want something. In fact, this person could even be used to achieving what they want because this is someone who is a go-getter. You know, this is someone who they they plan, they, they make plans before um, executing, um, but they are very good at executing. You know, this is a passionate person. The one's energy makes them inspirational and fired up. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, Water Energy, the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the the um, the Ace of Swords, Air Energy. So with the Five of Cups showing up here, this could be that um, there could be someone here who's uh, stuck on you, remembering you, thinking about you. And um, for some reason, they, they only remember you as a, this King of Wands energy. Like this is someone who's only seeing your good qualities. And because they're so focused on your good qualities, it's highlighting the fact to them that they have suffered a major loss, you know, because the Five of Cups, it, it's someone who's looking back at the past at something that didn't work out, something that they are deeming as having had been a loss, um, something that they missed out on or something that they um, sabotaged and they, they have regrets. Um, this is someone who's wishing that they could do things differently and um, they miss your energy they miss your confidence they miss your your charisma you know they, they are seeing you as that fiery king of wands energy so this these are qualities that they associate with you they're very drawn towards um but they do wonder if you still think of them this could be someone who feels like you may have a pessimistic or negative view on them and this really hurts them to think of that um, it does look like they're not sure about how you feel about them, but they are assuming that you don't think fondly of them, especially because if you're not taking action towards them and they view you as a king of wands, which is a type of person who goes after what they want, they may feel like the reason why you're not taking action towards them is because you don't want them. And this is making them feel a bit depressed. So this person is considering taking action towards you. You know, they may not physically take action towards you, but rather they may want to reach out because these two cards are cards of communication. So they may want to open up lines of communication with you. They kind of want to figure out how you feel about them. They want to figure out how, you, how you're viewing the situation. What, you, what are your thoughts? They want some sort of mental clarity. So you may get a lot of communication from this person. So let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, so we have the Justice card and this is Libra energy. So this is a card of wanting to make things fair, wanting to make something balanced. It can even be a card of apolo apologies, um, restitution. So this person could feel like they owe you an apology. Let's see. 
Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, and we have the King of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, this person may come towards you with an offer of some sort. Um, it looks like they may uh, try to test the waters through communication, but they're trying to build up the, you know, build things up to the point where they will be able to extend an offer because this person they still have love for you. This is someone who may have seen forever with you. They they saw themselves being in a happy, committed relationship with you if they weren't already. And they still they still want that in their life. You know, this is someone who feels like they had everything they could have ever wished for with you. And they miss it. They want it back. Um, with the King of Cups, you know, they still hold a lot of love for you. The King of Cups can even be almost like unconditional love. They're still sitting on those feelings and they, they're thinking of a way to kind of get them out to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have work through your fears new moon in scorpio okay so this person does want to work through this situation um this connection may actually trigger a lot of deep-seated fears in this person and it's a very transformative connection and it's actually very hard for this person to express themselves or even to just reach out but there's an energy of pushing past that fear you know because they are currently feeling very depressed but it's like the pain of not knowing where they stand with you or not hearing from you is it's unbearable for them so this person may push past those fears and actually initiate contact so let's see we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so this person could be struggling with um codependency they could have at some point felt very codependent on you and this could be why the relationship may have um came to an end or had some sort of struggles um but this person they're struggling to kind of detach from you okay so let's see So we have playfulness. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. Okay, so yeah, this person, they, they still have these uh, fantasies or this idea of having like a family with you, settling down with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Aries. So we have surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real and let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Okay, so this situation could be seeing like a complete 180 and you know, you could be quite surprised at the way things turn out. There is a message of being open to miracles because this potential here in this connection Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.